Hello and welcome. Um, I've got to do a little experiment today. I turned the top of my sluice box into a fluid bed. Um, if you've seen other fluid beds, they're usually down at the bottom of the sluice box so you don't have to classify. But I just thought, you know, let's see what happens with this fluid bed up at the top. And then if you can keep all the black sand and the heavy material up here, you know, it gives you a lot better chance to catch your gold down below. Um, I've also added, see if you can see them, but I've added four uh, 95 pound pull magnets on the bottom of the sluice box here. So what I'm going to attempt to try and do here is trap all the black sand up here and hopefully trap the gold up here with the black sand. Um, it's just a thought I had, but we'll see if I can make a gold trap right up in here. Um, I've got one bag of Home Depot tube sand I'm going to run. Um, there was some gold in the other ones that I ran, but we're going to load this one up. You can see it there with some gold. We're going to put some sapphires in there. We're also going to add some garnets in there. And we'll see how this all works. It's only a test. So we'll get this thing fired up. I'm going to add this to the dirt. Get it in my bucket here and we'll get this thing fired up and see what she looks like. We got the dirt all mixed up there. And it's ready to go. Got the gold in there. Got sapphires, garnets. Wanted to show you the power of these magnets. I can feel it pull and clear up here at the top. So when we put the dirt in there, it should pull all the heavy black down, sand down and allow the allow the gold to sink with it. So we'll give that a try to see how I got these set up in here. Just got them set right down there in the bottom. So we'll get this thing all fired up. We'll see how she goes here. We got it running. We'll go ahead and dump some dirt in. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Will it boil it out? What will it do? I can see the lighter stuff coming up on top. I can see it boiling there. Get it filled up here. Hey, we are back for a second attempt. We had a catastrophic fail. Um, my divider in here all came apart. Everything went down. Um, <laughs> It looked promising. There was a lot of black sand up in here. Um, I could see some of the gold, so we're rerunning the dirt. Same gold, same sapphires, um, same garnets, and we'll see how this works out in the end. Hopefully, things will stay together this time. Um, I put a one by two in there, cut it down, so it should be okay. You can see the material all wet. This thing loaded up here. We're going along here, it's kind of slow, but I'm just taking my time. Getting a little bit of build up down in here, but it continues to move on down.
I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I'm using a thousand gallon per hour pump today. I can see a few places I could use a little more fine tuning. Right in here it wants to build up a little bit. I don't really want to mess with it too much now that it's we got it working. Okay, I'm done running that bucket of dirt. We'll let this clean out for just a second. We'll shut it off and I'll start cleaning up this bottom piece here. We'll, so we'll get all situated here and we'll uh, start cleaning this out. Alright, I'm done cleaning out the mat. And Noah didn't catch it all. There's a few specks in there. We'll get a good picture of it. There's a little bit of gold in there and one garnet I found in the sluice box. So, oh, that's not too bad though. Nope, didn't catch every speck, but got a good portion of it. So I'll get things put together and we'll get this thing cleaned out. See what we can get. Don't see anything. Oh, there's a sapphire right there. Didn't find any sapphires in the sluice box, so they're either in the fluid bed or in the trash bucket. So we'll get this cleaned up and I'll be back in a bit. So I figured the easiest way to clean this thing out the way I've got it right now is I just took my sluice box apart. That's what's handy about having the backpack sluice box. You can take it apart. Let's see if we can get this cleaned out here. There's everything minus 20. Plan's probably a little full, but we'll see what we end up with. Okay, I'm all done. Um, I didn't find all my sapphires. I found a few of them. Found most of the garnets. Um, I panned them out instead of screening them like you're supposed to. So I'm sure they're in my bucket there. But here is what we got. There's all the sapphires and garnets I picked out of the fluid bed. And there is the gold. We ended up with more than we started with. But that is the gold we ended up with out of the fluid bed. I'm super happy with the way that worked. Of course, I'm sure it could do, use some tweaking and stuff. But I think the magnets, there was just a load of black sand in that fluid bed. You can see it down in here just loaded so those magnets did hold a lot of the the black sand the heavy black sand down in there trapped a lot of the gold in there so I'm pretty happy with that um, thanks for watching subscribe to my channel if you're not if you are thanks for watching we'll catch you next time bye now